Burchett from Tennessee. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. President Biden has, has sent over $110 billion of taxpayers' hard-earned money to Ukraine and wants to send even more. Yet his son failed to pay any taxes on the millions of dollars he received from Ukrainian companies. Many folks in East Tennessee can't afford to buy any in their dadgum groceries, let alone a home or an automobile. But these decent people and Americans all over the country still pay their taxes. The fact is, if your last name is Biden, you don't have to pay, play by the same rules. Who's going to write the check for the money Hunter Biden didn't pay now that it's too late to bring charges to these taxpayers? Who's, who's paying taxes on the 250000 that China sent to President Biden's Delaware address? I'll tell you who. It's the hardworking Americans that got to get up every morning that don't come into work at 10 o'clock and take two hours for lunch and then walk out of here in their Brooks Brothers suit with their jacket thrown over their dadgum shoulder claiming that they worked hard because they know they didn't work hard. The people back home are working hard and they're paying their dadgum taxes. Yet the Biden family doesn't have to. This past July, two high-level IRS agents, Gary Shapley and Joseph Ziegler, testified before our committee. They painted a very disturbing picture, worse than the one of Hunter Biden's paintings, by the way, of misconduct and obstruction within the Department of Justice criminal investigation of Hunter Biden, the Biden family business dealings. They testified that Hunter Biden should have been charged with a tax felony, not a misdemeanor. Hunter was, was saved by Merrick Garland's decision to change the department's longstanding policy to charge the most serious offense that can be proven. This paved the path for Hunter Biden to attempt to plead guilty for two tax-related misdemeanors rather than any of the six felonies recommended by the department's tax division. I've literally seen people in Tennessee be charged with more for, for traffic violations. Moreover, Mr. Garland's decision does not align with Chapter 10 of the Criminal Tax Manual, which prohibits prosecutors from allowing a defendant to plead to a misdemeanor when elements of a felony can be proven. David Weiss should have followed department policy and charged Hunter Biden with, with tax felonies. The Department of Justice should have ensured Hunter paid his back taxes, just like any other person in this position. Hardworking Tennessee and shouldn't have to subsidize the Biden family's crime spree. I'd like to know that any of them paid any of their dadgum taxes. I yield the remainder of my time to my friend from Ohio, Jim Jordan.